this is Robin Bremer, and I'm going to share with you a, um, a revelation God gave me, and also a vision that God gave me, a dream that He gave me. And I, uh, I'm not taking the time to look up the scriptures for this. I just want to share it to you because somebody asked me about it. Um, in the Old Testament, uh, Jacob laid his head down on a stone at one place, and he uh, saw angels ascending and descending on a ladder. And he said, "This is, uh, you know, the where God is." And he put a memorial there. Well, uh, in the New Testament, it talks about us being able to, it says, uh, we're seated at the right hand of Christ. And somewhere else it says, seek those things that are at the right hand of Christ. Another place, it also says that um, we are seated far above principalities, powers, mights, and dominions. And <clears throat> that they are under our feet. And I heard a teaching um, which kind of pulls all these scriptures together that we are to we can ascend to the right hand of God because we're supposed to seek those things that are right hand of God to see the strategies of the enemies and I had a dream that did just that and I thought it was pretty fantastic um, and when I interpreted the dream I instantly understood a lot of it and uh, I knew I knew right away that I was uh, ascending above the enemy's territory and I was seeing what his strategy was and my my main mission and my call and my purpose in life is to teach and excuse me to teach and minister in dead and religious churches in churches that don't have the Holy Spirit that don't have the presence and the power of God in them and to come into them and to to bring the Holy Spirit and to teach them about the presence of the Holy Spirit the kingdom of God that's in us the end time um, kingdom that we should be walking in and so I knew that when I had this dream that I was ascending to the right hand of God above principalities powers mights and dominions and seeing their strategy and the strategy seeing Satan's kingdom in operation and what I learned in that vision which was a night vision I was, I was dreaming and it involved a little bit of interpretation, but it was pretty obvious what it was about, was that the devil was saying, as far as religious and traditional people and churches go, he said, he out of his own mouth, he said this. He said that I get them in their darkest hour. Um, I don't even know if I have it written down here in my notes here. Uh, I think I have it in my prayer diary. He said something, uh, something like, I get them in their darkest moment, and pull them down. In other words, he 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 puts you in situations where you feel hopeless, 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 and you don't see the word working. Then when you're the slowest you can get, then he really pulls some nasty stunt off, and and then you say, well, the word doesn't work anyway. He he basically um, wants to get you in a position where you're really not trusting God's word. Your darkest hour, your worst fear, the worst thing come upon you. And then he's going to pressure you into confessing and speaking that the word doesn't work. Uh, or it's so important in the New Testament, it's all about faith. And faith is believing that God is and he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Um, and faith is substance. Faith takes uh, the promises that God has given you out of the spiritual realm because everything was created with words. Everything was created in the spiritual realm. And it takes it from the spiritual realm and it pulls it into the physical realm. And so faith quenches all the enemy's darts because the enemy can only work in the physical realm. He'll make you sick. He'll make you, he'll, things happen in your body. Things happen in the weather. He'll control those things because those were the authority and dominion we were given as God of this earth. And Satan took that authority and dominion and is now God of this earth. So he can harass people. He can change weather. He can cause animals to do weird things. Um, because he's the God of this world and because he is also a God of the senses. What we hear, see, feel, taste, and touch, he is the God of that realm. So he can control and change those things and manipulate those things and convince you that those things are real and to stay forever, which you're not. So <clears throat> Satan works in, in people by getting them in their darkest hour and then throwing one more thing at them and showing them, see, the word doesn't work. You can't trust the word. Um, and... So that was a revelation I wanted to show you. When you keep going through the same situations over and over, you need to ask the Holy Spirit to show you. Uh, you need to ascend above the enemy's territory and see what he's doing 
um, and what strategy he's using to keep you in that position uh, and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. So that was just something that I want to share with you about um, finding out what the enemy's up to. My name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.